What's up guys, this is Andy here with Ultima Eye Device Vids, and today I'm going to be showing you guys an awesome upcoming City of Tweak called Personal Assistant. This is going to be available soon, and it allows you to add tons and tons of useful information to your lock screen. So let me just show you guys what this tweak is all about. As you can see right here, I have tons and tons of information directly on my lock screen. So of course, up in the top left corner, I have my clock information, as well as the date and some battery information. And of course, on the other side, I have some weather information. So I have the current temperature temperature, the high and the low of the day, and the current condition. And of course, as you can see in the middle, I have tons of information. I have my uh, reminders that are coming up, my upcoming calendar events, and of course I have all of my notifications here. So from various different applications, uh, different applications are broken up into, into different sections, so this actually organizes your, your notifications, and Apple does not do that by default, so this is awesome that you know, we actually get to organize notifications on a per app basis. Then we have a mini player down here as well. This basically uh, pertains to if you're playing music, so as you can see I have my current album artwork, play, pause, skip, control, and of course volume control down below at the bottom here and down below at the bottom I have a list of all of my currently open applications in my app switcher and of course you could slide like this to extend the list and of course if you tap on any of these applications it's going to open up the device to that application just like that and let me remind you this is all from the lock screen it's absolutely incredible so of course you can just use touch ID to unlock your device or put in your passcode or just slide to unlock like this as you can see that functionality remains the same now there's a whole other layer that that you might not even know about. For example, if we tap on various things, you're going to be getting various pop-ups and various new menus. For example, if we tap on the clock up at the top here, as you can see, we have the ability to set a timer or set an alarm right from the lock screen without even unlocking the device. So let's say I wanted to set an alarm for 10, uh, 45, let's say, and we just click set alarm. As you can see, it tells us that it's been created. We could just click close. And now, of course, if I open up the clock app and show you guys, the alarm has been created, as you can see, just like that. So very awesome that you could do that right from the lock screen. Also, if you tap on the weather information up at the top here, as you can see, we get a weather app preview right from the lock screen. And we, of course, we could scroll here to interact with it. And again, this is without even leading the, leaving the comfort of your lock screen. Of course, we get various day previews and we could just tap to dismiss. Miss. And of course, we could tap on individual calendar events. Let's just say make a YouTube video, and it's going to give you information that pertains to that particular reminder, as you can see right here. And the same thing goes for notifications. Let's just say I tapped on this Twitter notification. As you can see, it's going to tell me uh, when it was sent to me, the sender, and of course, the content of the message. And of course, you could either launch the application or dismiss the notification if you want to as well. So there's much more to this tweak than meets the eye. Almost everything is interactable with. You know, you could tap on various things and get a whole other set of menus and options. So if you guys open up settings on your device, you could configure this tweak to your liking. There's various options for it as well. So let's just go ahead and open up the personal assistant preferences. And of course, we could go into configuration configuration. So up at the top you have the ability to enable or disable the tweak in its entirety and then we have the location and of course by default this tweak appears on the lock screen however if you want to you could change it to appear in the notification center, the left spotlight view or the top spotlight view. So the natural habitat of the tweak is again the lock screen but if you want to change it you can and of course the left spotlight view is when you swipe to the left like this and the top spotlight view is when you swipe down like that. Uh, I prefer to keep it on the lock screen because unfortunately you can't have it uh, in multiple places at the same time. You just have to choose one place. And again, I prefer that to be the lock screen. If we go back here, we have the blur option. So you notice that this tweak does take in my wallpaper and blur it as you can see here. So everything's nice and blurry. I think that looks clean. However, if you don't want that, you could go ahead and disable the toggle. Next up, we have dim timer. Now, of course, because we're going to be interacting with a lock screen for longer periods of time than we're used to, this allows you to extend the time that it takes for your device to go to sleep. It's set to one minute by default. And I do recommend you keep it on that. I think that's a reasonable amount of time, but you could go all the way up to five hours if you want to. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you could. But again, you could do options like 15 minutes or 20 minutes if you want a longer time. Then, of course, we have the respring option. After you make any changes, make sure you respring just to ensure that all the options take an effect. Then, of course, we have these subsets uh, the sub menus down here and basically these sub menus uh, contain options that pertain to specific functions that this tweak has to offer. So we have horologium that allows you to configure options that pertain to the clock, alarm, and timers. Then we have forecast and that's of course weather information, Boltix for battery management, auxilium for events, to-dos, and calendar events. 
Phalanx for organizing notification, Actis for favorite and recent apps, and at the bottom we have Symphonia for the music player. Now, of course, if you go into any of these options here, as you can see, there's tons and tons of toggles, tons and tons of settings that pertain to all of the functions that that particular portion of the tweak has to offer. Again, tons and tons of things, too much to talk about in one video, but again, really useful options, and it's great how customizable this tweak is. Now, something that stood out to me that I did want to mention was under Horlogium, there is an option to show alarm slash timer. Basically, this will show you any timers or alarms that you have coming up right on your lock screen, and I really do appreciate this function. So as you can see right here, I have an alarm set for 1045, and because that's coming up, it tells me right there, as you can see, it has a little alarm alarm icon and again it's warning me that that's coming up same thing goes for a timer let's just open up clock here and we're going to go ahead and start a timer for 14 minutes and now that that's ticking as you can see it's going to tell me that as well so there you go as you can see it's telling me and it's a live uh, countdown just like that and it shows them both as you can see with the little separator in the middle so a very well designed and it just looks great now there's also another option under horologium that i wanted to talk about and that's the timer pause slash resume so this is really useful if you're using a timer you can actually pause it and resume it right from the lock screen just by tapping on it if you have that option on so tap just like that we'll pause it there you go if I wanted to resume it, I could tap it again, and it's going to resume. So very simple, just some useful options if you like keeping track of time and whatnot. So highly customizable tweak, very useful, and I really think this tweak is going to be successful just because of all the information that it shows you right on your lock screen. It's going to help people keep track of their complicated lives and all the crazy stuff that they have to manage. And once again, this is going to be called Personal Assistant. It's going to be available in Sidious soon. So of course, as soon as this tweak is released, I'll be sure to let you guys know down below in the description. And if you guys are excited about this tweak, make sure to give this video a like. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel for many more videos on Cydia tweaks, jailbreak content, and some iOS content as well. Also, make sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like it on Facebook, and also make sure to follow Follow me on Twitter. I'll put all those links down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.